as a documentary filmmaker, you've probably done done your research. You're inspired by other documentaries. Do you ever? Did you ever? And like, as having to edit it a certain way for MTV, which you know, sort of keep a bipartisan feeling here, not in a bad way or anything, but it's different from an art house documentary or somebody else's documentary. Do you ever? Do you ever hope or wish that you could cut these stories a different way, to leaning more towards a sort of an, in, an influential documentary figure rather than an MTV way? N- no. Uh, for one simple reason, why I'm grateful to be where I am and have this show is that I'm able to reach millions of young Americans at an age and a stage in our lives when we're most impressionable. And so, yeah, sure, if I, you know, like my first film, if I wanted to uh, direct it or edit it, you know, exactly how I would like it, then yeah, of course. But no, I, I want to do projects that I think especially now, right, as we speak, that will make a difference. And that may sound too earnest, as we continue to say, but like there's... It's corny. That's the best, you know, I'm trying to make it, trying to have programming, God forbid, that can not be like the Kardashians and actually make a difference. And um, so that's what we aim. We wake up every morning and we say, we are not going to be like the Kardashians. Is that what you wake up and say every morning? That's our first thing every morning is... (laughs) We will not be like the Kardashians. I wake up every morning and say... They represent the worst parts, some of the worst parts of our generation. 